From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Tuesday, April 2nd of 2024. I'm Amy Rose and this is what's going on. The Sturgis City Council held their first meeting in April, Monday night, where they discussed a proposed ordinance that will allow for an election to fill a council or mayoral vacancy. The ordinance follows the resignation of Mayor Mark Carstensen and the procedure taken in filling the vacancy. The city had no ordinance in place allowing for a special election. Therefore, appointment by the city council was the only option available. The ordinance, if passed, will authorize the city to hold a special election to fill future vacant city council or mayoral positions. A new data analysis shows that South Dakota has the second highest care costs for consumers in the nation. Here's Kevin Phillips with more. Increasing health care costs are affecting almost everyone, but the unusually high costs in South Dakota are prompting some state residents to forego necessary medical care, which in turn can drive up costs even further. A new ranking by Forbes Advisor uses nine metrics to determine which states had the highest health care costs. South Dakota came in second behind North Carolina. Other research shows the state's annual per capita health care cost for consumers is nearly $12,500. That's the highest in the Great Plains region. High costs in South Dakota are generally attributed to a lack of competition in health care and insurance, high medical employee and overhead costs, and who can pay more toward employees' share of costs. In national and international news, the United States is nearing approval for the sale of approximately 50 American-manufactured F-15 fighter jets to Israel in a deal anticipated to exceed $18 billion. This potential transaction would mark the largest foreign military sale from the U.S. to Israel since the nation's conflict with Hamas commenced on October 7th. It highlights the ongoing support from the U.S. towards Israel, despite the strained relationship between President Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In parallel, Iran has pledged to retaliate following an attack, which it attributes to Israel, resulting in the deaths of two of its senior commanders and five consulate officials in Syria. Such developments heighten the potential for a border conflict in the Middle East. On Monday, former President Donald Trump posted a bond of $175 million as he pursues an appeal against the judgment in the New York civil fraud case initiated by State Attorney General Letitia James. Here's Kevin Phillips with the rest of the story. This development marks a victory for Trump's legal team as the bond effectively halts any actions James could take against his properties in response to the judgment until at least September. Last month, a state appeals court reduced the bond amount by several hundred million dollars following arguments from Trump's attorneys that covering the full bond related to the $464 million verdict was not financially viable. Additionally, shares of Trump's media company experienced a decline yesterday following the disclosure of a loss exceeding $58 million. Trump holds the majority stake in the company and his net worth took a hit of over $1 billion. As part of a lawsuit settlement, Google is set to delete billions of data records, resolving allegations that the tech giant improperly tracked the web browsing activities of users who believe they were browsing privately. Originally filed in 2020, the lawsuit accused Google of misleading users regarding the type of data it collected from those using the incognito private browsing mode in Chrome. Under the terms of the settlement, Google will revamp its disclosures and seize tracking individuals' decisions to browse the web privately. Court filings on Monday disclosed that users will not receive damages collectively, although they retain the option to pursue individual claims for damages. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Sunny this morning, windy later with a high of 55. Your overnight low, 29. That was your Daily Slice for Tuesday, April 2nd of 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group. Hosted by Amy Rose with Kevin Phillips. Executive producer Mark Houston engineered by Chris Jackwes. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.